All right, guys, we are back today um, with my new vehicle. This is my new to me 2010 Lincoln MKZ. I did put a video out, a teaser video a few days ago. Um, a lot of people were saying it was a Milan, but no, I ended up getting a MKZ. Um, I know I was kind of hinting to it to a while. I was kind of wanting another uh, luxury vehicle again. And I really did not want to spend the money on, you know, another, I didn't want to drop 15 or 20 grand on something. No, I, I was looking, but um, just for what the money can get you, you can still get a very nice vehicle for literally under five grand. And that's basically what I did. I still have the focus right now. The guy has to come pick it up in a few days, but um, I have been daily driving this for about two or three days now. Um, done a few things to it. And uh, before we go any farther, as far as, modifications i want to get the video of it out i have it all cleaned up i finally hand washed it today um and so yeah we'll we'll get started here this is an old 2010 mkz this is the first year for the refresh uh 2010 they got new headlights new grill i believe a new hood interior is slightly refreshed overall it's the same general platform it's just a lot nicer looking as compared to the first generation zephyr and mkz this design came out general body style was out in 06 um yeah i think it aged quite well so like i said i essentially sold the focus and just took that money and bought this um it was a very nice deal i got on the focus so um i bought the mkz you know like i said i've been wanting something a little bit nicer to ride and eat the miles up for work and something just a, a little more power um and this definitely uh, was on the top of the list uh, i was definitely cross shopping a few other luxury brands but um, compared to what you, you can get these for like pennies on the dollar it's insane but um I had a fusion sport as you guys all remember uh, that was mainly the one vehicle I regretted getting rid of but due to uh, tripling insurance costs I, I really had to get rid of it at the time and uh, the insurance premiums on the fusions are still insanely expensive and way more expensive than an MKZ and ultimately this is the nicer car um, so looking at this one, this one is in a like a sandstone. It, this was, a, I think, a one or two year only color. Uh, and I really thought it was silver on the online ad, but it wasn't. It's more of a gold or beige. Um, I didn't really want another beige vehicle, but uh, looking at it cleaned up, I think it does look quite well on this uh, package with the chrome wheels, those 17s. Um, It'll just be a nice daily to blend in with everything, and it hides the dirt quite well, which is going to be nice. I don't have to wash it as often, but um, so yeah, looking at it, we do have uh, upgraded 17 inch chrome wheels, these were an option. Uh, they're riding on basically brand new Michelin tires. This one's a little chopped up, but um, I'm going to put some snow tires on it in, a, in another couple weeks. So, um, and so the big thing, the big thing why I got this pretty cheap was it's a rebuilt title car. Um, you know, people say what they want about rebuilt titles. Um, I guess it really depends on what kind of damage has been done to it. Uh, what happened to this car? Somebody backed into it in a parking lot, I guess. It's from my understanding. Uh, a pickup truck with one of those high bumpers. It crushed this fender right here and it ruined the headlight. It snapped the headlight in half and it scuffed the bumper up. That was enough to total the car out. Um, so yeah, that was sent to a uh, salvage or uh, auction, like a place like Copart, and the guy I bought it from uh, has a whole yard of these that he fixes up and sells. Fixes up and sells. So anyhow, that's how I found this on Craigslist, and I bought it. Um, he had other ones that had all types of damage on it, but I obviously did not want like a crazy smashed up one. So this this fit the bill, and again, it fit that price range. Um, considering though it's not perfect it's rusty it's a 10 year old car in Michigan and these things rust out like crazy if you don't take care of them and wash them uh, this is no exception it's starting to bubble there I'm gonna try to hit that in the winter time it's gonna be like a, a winter project or something uh, so looking at it there's some rust down there on the panels uh, but generally just right here this is where they all do it first so we can try to save that um, and some of the chrome wheels are chopped up a little bit rashed uh, but again you have a very nice vehicle for well under five grand. So, and there's some sort of weird staining on the bumper here. I can't seem to get out, but I don't care. There's dual exhaust down there. This one is front wheel drive. And we do have some paint peeling here. So I'm gonna try to get a touch up paint, touch up pen, and I'm still gonna try to take care of it. But um, I really think this one's gonna stay for a while. Um, there's some more rust right there as well. So it's starting to bubble. It's not too, too bad. 
we are right next to the road here and it's an exceptionally warm day today so uh, people are just flying down this road pardon the road noise we do have hid headlights fog lights uh, that ballast is going out that does flicker i did order a new ballast for it and then upon buying it it needed an alignment right away and it needs brakes like yesterday um, so i did have the alignment done the car's perfect as far as alignment goes I ordered four slotted cross drilled rotors with ceramic pads on eBay. Uh, 120 bucks. You can't beat it. Um, O'Reilly's wants like 250 for that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll just stick to that. Uh, coming over the interior here. It is. It's a beige interior, power driver seat, perforated seats. They are heated and cooled, of course, with the Lincoln embroidered in the headdress. I do have to say, um, these headrests are quite plush as compared to the Fusion. I mean, they're really nice. Um, stepping on in a little bit of a memento from my fusion three years ago these are the all-weather floor mats that were in it uh, I took these out and put weather techs in it and I sold it with the weather techs and I always held on these because I had a feeling I'd be getting something I could use those in one day so I cleaned those up and threw them in here uh, we'll start it up here I'll get the key out of my pocket uh, looking at the key here's the key I only got one but I do have a remote start which is nice I do have the other remote in the glove box but I will work on getting the key, another key made, but I did clean this one up and you know, it's good enough. So, we have the Lincoln Premium Audio. It's a nine speaker system, I believe. Uh, we do get a gauge sweep though, we didn't miss that, but. So, as of right now, I've put about 300 miles on it and it's been perfect. So we'll see how this goes. I've always been on the fence about a rebuilt title car. I, I don't think I'll have an issue with it. I know these three fives are pretty good. Uh, it's the water pumps you gotta watch out for. Uh, I'll just keep an eye on the coolant. Uh, but looking at the door panels over here, we'll try to get this video done a little faster here. Uh, it's typical Ford stuff. It's all soft touch up here. We have a tweeter there, memory seats, and you have the nicer kind of Lincoln uh, uh, switches, I guess. Uh, we have some leather down here, which is nice and soft. We have some wood over here. And uh, I really got drilled a new one in one of my other Lincoln videos. I guess this is real wood. It's just like a really shitty gloss they put over it. Uh, I'm indifferent to it. I, I don't care. Uh, but again, looking over here at the gauge cluster, really, really nice gauges. These are uh, by far my favorite for this platform of vehicle. Uh, 116 on it, like I said. We'll see if we can go look at our uh, trip computer over here. We're getting 20.9 right now in the city. I've been hammering it, and I will show you why in a minute. Um, I very much miss the power of these uh, three fives. So we've gotten that far in the tank of gas. Again, I've been kind of hammering it. Um, so that's, yeah, that put, that's how many miles I put on it. So I don't even think I put 200 miles on it. Uh, yeah, 163. That's when I reset it when I bought it. So pardon me. Um, Leather-wrapped wheel. Again, there's some wood up top. It is slightly worn. But I do have to say, uh, the tan interiors on these cars, they go to shit, I mean, in a few years. So, I mean, this is a very exceptional shape. Mind the shit stain. I tried to get that out, but I think that's just part of the seat now at this point. I'm going to try to get, like, some leather touch-up. But um, other than that, this, the car is in actually pretty good shape. Um, aside from some of this worn-off finish, it's kind of got that European car finish on some of the stuff. I do, although the leather material is very soft, it's a very nice, well, uh, it's very high quality uh, as compared to like the Milan or the Fusion. So, uh, dashboard is all soft touch. We have a center channel there. Again, your basic Ford audio, and this is very nice. This reminds me of my Focus. Um, just very similar setup. We have satellite radio on right now, which is very cool. We have Bluetooth, dual zone climate, heated and cooled seats, and these do work. Uh, a lot of the, there's a lot of these that break on these Zs. So they do work as of now. Hopefully they stay working. Heat and air both work. Everything works. Um, I have my phone not right there. And the glass is cracked, as you can see. So I'm going to try to get that done this week as far as the glass goes. And then we have another floor mat over there. Six-speed automatic. Uh, and this gear shifter is chewed up. I, I don't get it because if this is chewed up, why isn't this? Uh, but anyhow, I might order a new one on eBay. It really hasn't bothered me like I thought it would, so it's pretty easy to replace, though. They're about 60 bucks on eBay. I may do it, so we'll see. We have an e-brake right here. And we'll go into the glove box. I did throw my dash cam in there. I'm waiting for the new windshield. 
Uh, but it does come with all the books, which is very nice. It's got everything in there. So even the key code, the door locks and the key uh, replacement barcode on it. But um, it also has the window sticker. So I'll pull it out right here and show you what exactly the car does have. It's only missing a few options. Of course, it's missing the touch screen with the THX system in it. Uh, but looking at it for 2010, this car is stickered at 38.9. So somebody paid around that for it. Um, so yeah, these are the options it does have. It does have the rapid spec, which gives you the uh, bending, active bending headlights. It does have the, the upgraded chrome wheels, which I do like. And there's a few other little things. So we got about uh, four grand, three grand worth of options on it. So again, it's pretty cool. And the color to this is called Smokestone. Uh, and I was getting about 27 actually on the freeway the other day driving it to work. So it is felt lined as well. I'll take care of this after the video. Um, See so yeah, we have a moonroof up above as well. Automatic headlights, fog lights. Um, I'm gonna turn this the car off. Pop the trunk here, and again we'll turn the lights on. And you can actually see we have mood lighting again. That's pretty cool. So uh, we can change it. I usually leave it off just because I like it dark when I drive. So give it a little rev here. Three three and a half k rev limiter, but um. I'll make a zero to 60 probably in a few days. You have that cool Lincoln dinger as well, but we'll run it and unlock it. I think I did all that already, but. Coming to the rear, it's in pretty good shape. I think they had kids or dogs or something because the leather seems to be a little bit stretched. And I think when the car was at the uh, Copart auction out yard, uh, there were some parts thrown back here because the leather is kind of just dented in. Hoping it'll work its way out, but um, I gotta remind myself that this car is, I pay nowhere near what people are paying for these. Um, so, that being said, I have to deal with a little bit of ugliness, which aside, it's really not that bad. We have an armrest right here, cup holders, dual mat pockets. We have some mood lighting down there. Um, yeah, it's, it's all right, I do kind of sit quite ghetto but um i can sit back here in a, on a short trip but it's really not all that bad so um yeah new daily guys we're gonna be getting window tint next week so it's gonna be all darked out materials do all follow through okay those brakes need to be done bad more or less the front and this one also has easy fuel um my 2010 or my 2017 ST had that, which, which was the last vehicle um, I owned that had that, which is quite nice. And we have a little dent right here, so. And coming back here, we do have a pretty big trunk. We have the seats we can pull back right there. And it does tumble the seat. We have the speakers under there. And we have a full or a, a donut under there, of course. So, you can tell this was a 2010 because of the headrest. 2010, 2011, and 2012 all have different style headrests. 2010 has this style, 2011 has the style like this, and 2012 has the headrest where you can actually tumble with a button, so it's kind of a way you can tell the difference. Heated mirrors, no blind spot or any of that garbage. Uh, we do have a rain sensor right here. Um, so. I don't even care. I hate the Ford rain sensors. They suck. I actually unplugged it on my Fusion, but uh, to get under the hood here, we'll pop it. No struts or anything, but this is the 3.5 V6. Uh, 263 horsepower and I think 250 pound-feet of torque, something like that. It, it moves for what it is. It's pretty good. Uh, they do put this engine in the Explorer, so you can imagine um, the kind of weight that thing has to tow around. But um. Looking over here, this if this does look familiar to you, this is a uh, cold air intake from my 2010 MKX. I was able to kind of retrofit it on here. Uh, a few little bendies. As you can see, the hood liner is kind of rubbing on the tube right there, but um, I had a perfectly good cold air intake laying around, and as you guys know me, I, I love the intakes, so um, we have an intake now, so. Yep. But yeah, guys, I think that's gonna Tie it up for the daily. Uh, we're gonna turn the headlights on and see if that HID flickers. This video is getting quite lengthy, so. 
start it up. Oh yeah, the sunroof is nice to have again, so. Yeah, it's not flickering yet, but it's going to be. So uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the new daily driver. As usual, thanks for watching.